Hello and welcome back. I'm a uh, beautiful day today, still in my child's bedroom, otherwise known as Studio One. And today we're going to learn how to draw cottages. And uh, years ago they had things like lamp posts and uh, letter boxes. That was called street furniture. So in effect, I suppose what we should have then is uh, countryside furniture like rocks, uh, gates, uh, stone walls, all of those elements that if you can get them together, and it is about practicing. We're going to just draw today, but it is about practicing. If we can do those, any combination of these uh, will give you maybe, you know, 50, 60, 100 different paintings. Okay, so let's have a little look, see what we're going to do. And here we go. Now you notice that the rock, the rock wall, it's just there really as a sample. So hopefully we'll have time to sort of uh, do that. It's quite easy really. So uh, as usual, I'm going to, because I draw every day, I make the same claim every week. I draw every day, but I make mistakes every day. So I'm going to do this quite lightly first until I maybe just get a sense as to what size things should be. So maybe in and around here, put up there. And I'm going quite easy on this at the minute because I'm not too sure how it's going to work out. So I'm trying to give the impression that it's going further away. So this should be getting a bit smaller. Now this angle here, see this here? That should also be reflected on your chimney there. And this angle here should also be reflected on your roof. So there we go. And uh, anybody who's visited uh, any of these parks will know that the walls are actually quite, quite low. And they go right up and into the roof itself. So we put that in there. Now, now I think what I'll do is I'll reinforce some of these as I go along. So now we're a second building. Here we go, coming up from here. Back down, that's it. And again, just keep that figure on. See the way we're going like that there? We move that across. And down. So it's actually taken quite a nice little shape as we go along. So again, not making too many commitments just at the moment. Now, what we'll do is maybe put in a little bit of a, a window in here, and then we have the side of the window there. So that's as we look into the cottage, and that's the window sill. Okay, so I think I might just reinforce that bit, because it's rather like that. It's coming together okay. That's it. Down to the middle of the chimney, and that goes over like this. That's it. Okay. So, no country house is worth its salt unless it has some turf outside. And they're not briquettes, so you don't have them inside of a very, very neat. They're, they've just been, somebody brought them up on the donkey and they were sort of just dumped there at the side. So they're spilling over a little bit as well. So if we had some idea then maybe as to where these door doors are gonna lead out onto a pathway. No commitment at the moment. Okay, so now at the back of it, we have uh, just before the lake. You know, we have a lake as well today. Uh, put in some fence posts. And again, they've been sort of a bit, they've been there for about 50 years, so they're all over the shop. Let's just put them in there. Now, we have our lake then comes across here. You really have to think about where that's going and bring it back out the far side there. Okay, so that's not too bad. Yeah. Now a nice mountain. I don't know what part of the country you're in, but uh, it's not quite Ben Bulban, but we'll have a look, see. Comes down here and back over there again. And we're suggesting that maybe the light is coming in 
this way here, so we can actually darken off some of this as it goes on. Yeah. There are little bits there because it's, it's done. That's it now. And uh, for some trees, trees are handy. You have to remember that these trees are about 200 yards away. So you're not going to see little bits of leaves sticking out. So we might just let it go for a shape like that there. And again, thinking that the sunlight's going to hit the top of the tree more than the rest of it. And we get really, really dark then just in that underneath section there. So we might have another one coming in here. That's it. A nice contrast too against the building it'll sort of push out against the building okay so we might have uh, it's nice to sort of balance to balance out on both sides so again maybe a little bit of shadow just on the bottom half of the tree again suggesting that the light is coming down here but on the bottom part here we go really really dark now we might have some bushes in there and hedgerow and we might go for it another tree well that's it there now so where are we all coming at? we've got the pathway coming down here and it's joining maybe you know what we'll put a gate here as if heading up towards the lake now oh, that's it okay so the next thing we want to do is have a look at the idea of fence posts. Now you may not necessarily always use them in this particular context, but it gives a nice framing to the bottom of it. So, and these fence posts have been in the ground for 50 years, so they're a little bit all over the place and some of them have sunk down a bit. Maybe this one here is, is ready to collapse altogether. A shadow in one side of it. it all the way now we've got and I always suggest that there is actually something happening over that side so although you're not you don't have any picture left just make sure that something goes over there okay so we're going to have a look at some rocks rocks are your friends always Again, you're sort of looking down. We could actually have a situation here, for instance, you'd notice that at fence posts, that the grass is growing up there, but then when it hits where the fence post is, seems to get bigger, and uh, not in a straight line, it gets them up there. And then over here, we might have the, an idea, because it's gonna frame the picture very nicely, I think. So we'll have some rocks. So again, maybe here we go. We've got another one on the far side there, maybe one going out here as well. So again, let's have a look at the idea of shadow coming up here, maybe on halfway up the rock, and not too many straight lines, and really dark, where it actually goes into the ground, it gets really dark. So now we have very dark, a little bit lighter, we go white, and then we go very dark again, and that'll actually stop you from ending up with a 26 foot. 26 foot rock and sometimes you can lose them and you really have to just go back in again and uh, either rub out or add more more charcoal or more pencil in so they're not too bad there but what we need to do is just break it up a little bit by again the sort of weeds and all sorts of stuff hanging out of it there could be a bit of shadow going on there as well uh, maybe we have a shadow coming down from here, but all, all the same direction. So where are we now? So I think what we might do is to put in uh, some shadow on this side of the house. So we're suggesting now that the light is hitting the front of it there. It's not too straight. And that shadow again on this side here. And that's our picture. We might, uh, with regard to clouds, 
You'll note here on these clouds that the ones that are closer to us are quite big. And then as they go further into the distance, they nearly disappear. So I'll just put in maybe here. I would suggest that they're maybe behind the mountain there. Another day that we have today, beautiful day today. Not a cloud in the sky. And then as we go further back down, we have they drift further away and smaller and narrower until eventually we just have this in the background. So that's us. Maybe we'll suggest that here we've got that this is a little bit higher. So we'll just bring that down in a sweep until it hits the ground and, and levels off there. Same on this side here. So we're actually, we'd have to climb up to those trees there. We're trying to sweep down. So that's it. Uh, what we might do is have a little look at these rocks uh, for the uh, rock wall. Now, let's put them in here. We'll just do four of them, I think, maybe. And then they're coming up against a post. Don't forget when you're doing these, it's not like you're building a garage at home and you put each brick directly on top of the of the next they're, they're sort of all over the shop and they're bits of brick that he's using here and there now there is quite a gap in between those but when i get to actually uh coloring them in i'm going to actually just change that a bit okay so here we go now and again these rocks are they're very roughly hewn so you want to try and get some idea that maybe they're dipping in just at the bottom there so we get a bit of shadow coming up there and this is the formation of the rocks but I think what we'll do is we'll extend them out just a bit further maybe use just a different pen here a pencil so I'm just lessening the gap that's in between it because they don't have, well, I think in some walls they'd have mortar, but a lot of these are dry walls. So you can't have really too much of a gap in between them. That's it now. I'm just at the bottom there. I'm changing format there a bit, little bit there. Here we go. And what I would do then is actually just get sort of really dark just at the bottom. It's so much easier to paint than draw. But you can see where we're going. So very dark, a little bit lighter and then pale at the top. And then where the motor is we just Let's get that in and sort of blank it off a bit. And of course we're starting here. It's a, we've got grass going up there. So that's our drawing class for today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Practice. Just practice this at home because sometimes we're not, we don't have access to uh, paints and brushes and you can't really be, unless the drawing is right, the painting's not going to be right. So I'd just like to thank you all very much and to say, uh, see you next time around. Okay, take care. Bye.